memories. Well, if you have your Bible with you, or for some of you, if you have your newly covered Bible with you, open them up and take a big whiff of the glue that is still there. Amen. But uh, I've done that several times today um, with, with my Bible, opened it up and boom, it hit me. Everything Just did it again right there. Open it up. Just certain areas of it uh, are a little stronger than others, but um, still smell. If they, he says that, that glue smell is going to go away over time. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, I have two different, two different Bibles, my study Bible and my preaching Bible. Both got covered uh, this week and, and redone so they didn't fall apart on me any worse. And um, my office at times smells rather nice. Yeah. And no, it's not leather. That, 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 smell, that, that smell shows up later after the glue smell dies off. <laughs> but um, but I, I'm, boy, I, just, I, I really appreciate all that Brother Noble did. Well, if you've got your Bibles, and I want you to go two places tonight. Uh, first off, uh, well, actually, I'll do this. I'm going to have y'all go to one, and then I, I will go to the second and meet you at the, the first one I give here in a moment. But go to Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12, and as y'all are heading there, I'm going to go over to Ephesians chapter 4, which is the, uh, one of the base areas that we're dealing with um, in this thought of growing in unity. All right, growing in unity. We had um, given an introduction and the first two points of areas to grow in in unity together. And I will not do a full recap, but I will give a little bit of what we've already hit since it's been several Sundays since we've dealt with this. Um, but our, our key area that we started in was Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1 through 6. I'm going to read that.